<laughs> Hello, uh, <laughs> this is Doak, and this is the beginning of the third game, our third quarterfinal game in the Great Theater Trivia Tournament, and I am recording this time. Yay! Um, I want to introduce the five players that we're having tonight. Um, to do that, I need to make a little adjustment to my screen. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. There. So, could I have... Uh, Andy, would you please uh, pop into the screen with your real picture first? Hello. Hi, and then Tony. No, well, let me just introduce Andy first. Andy, how are you? I'm okay. And Andy is a, a daughter of the um, great matriarch of Lansing Theater, Emily Clark, um, her eldest. And uh, where do you live? Yes. You live in New York, right? Ithaca, New York. Yeah, Ithaca, New York. Okay, good. Hey, good to see you. Yeah, and also uh, Andy. Andy's one of the seated players. She finished in uh, one of the top five in the uh, qualifying tests. So, watch <laughs> out for her. Um, Tony, could you come on next, please? Tony Caselli from um, Williamston Theater. And Tony, what can you tell us about Williamston? How's it doing? What's it going to happen in this year? Well, yeah, this year we're doing a lot of audio projects, waiting okay. for COVID <laughs> to let us do a play. Um, okay. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Anything you want to mention in particular? Yeah, you can go to our website right now. There are two up there. Um, we, we did a video project earlier in the in the quarantine, but that's come and gone. Uh, there are two audio projects up there now. One, a uh, historical fire tour of downtown Williamston, charting the history of how Williamston was shaped by fires uh, for wow. about 150 years. Well, that's interesting. Uh, which is really, yeah, it's a really cool thing. That's on our website. And the other one is um, a fictional piece called Harriet Oriana written for us for this process uh, by Annie Martin. Um, and uh, yeah, they're both fun. It's, it's a thing we're calling our strolling stories designed to get people out and walking around Williamston, listening to a story. So okay. we can't get a hundred people in the theater, try to do something fun to different. So it's all audio, no visual at all. Right. Oh, nice. Okay, great. Um, I would go see it right now, but I'm doing this thing, so I can't. Um, <laughs> maybe later. Um, Abby and Nathan, could you come on the screen, please? Oh, aren't you adorable? Look at those sweaters. <laughs> wow. And you think you should get points for that, don't you? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us who you are, this, this, this wonderful couple of actors who came back to the community from uh, far away. From um, Vermont. Yeah. Tell us. Tell us what's going on. Just we have a six-year-old, a dog. Uh -huh. We're trapped in our house. <laughs> You're in two plays, though. I'm in a play with Doke again now. That's right. Hey. Yes, we're in a play. We and, uh, were in a play with Doke before. Yeah. <laughs> we're in a play Doke. called um, Standing on Ceremony, which is a <laughs> series of short plays um, about gay marriage. And before we were in Doke's best dancing scene in <laughs> company, yes. <laughs> well, we won't go into that again. Uh, Emily, why don't you come on the screen? <laughs> Emily, how are you? I'm doing all right. She speaks fifth, uh, six languages. I always think mm -hmm. of that when I see. Oh wow! Um, no, no, I she, don't. She I don't. But she sang that. In, uh, oh, okay. In, uh, <laughs> Uh, 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Gotcha. I almost made a category out of the words from that, and I may still, but I didn't think it would be fair to have you in that because you might have memorized all of them. Darn, I could have gotten Do some things you, right. Uh, let's see. Do you remember uh, Betafuco? Be Betafuco, is that right? Oh, I can't even remember. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't have gotten it What's right. What's a Betafuco? That's that guy that that that. that Joey Betafuco, yeah, that's uh, yeah. Amy Fisher. Joey, yeah. Joey, yeah, that's something else altogether. <laughs> Never mind, I won't go there for this. Uh, you're you're back in Lansing now, Emily. All right, and yeah. and, and what's up? What what are your plans? Uh, well, I just started a customer service job. Actually, that's online. That's why I have this headset. Oh, um, okay. but I'm hoping I can go back to what I used to do as soon as we yeah. all can. What was your last role? Uh. I, I was very lucky. I got a whole show in at Meadowbrook Theater. We did Working the Musical. Oh, did you? I was woman three, I think. You did the waitress, waitress song? I didn't, um, but a lot of people asked me that. Um, yeah. But I got to I got to be a 
customer during the waitress scene. Um, well, that's exciting. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I want to see Lee Helder, although I can't. Lee, could you, um, let me see. I can't do anything about this. Lee, you're going to be down at the bottom no matter what. Uh, Lee, uh, for some reason, we can't get your camera to come on. So no. just say, say hello to folks. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Lee is my neighbor across the street. You are my neighbor. You, if it weren't COVID, you could just walk over and lean in behind me. Um, right. Yes, I should give over. Yes, uh, we're, we're neighbors. Uh, I want you to know, Doc, I'm way out of my comfort zone here. I've never done this. Oh, though. okay. Okay. <laughs> do, you need a, do you need to take a pill or something? Uh, I don't have any. Oh, okay. Um, Lee, uh, in case you don't know, is one of the... Um, one of the people that really made our, our theater community happen. She and her husband, her late husband, Bill Helder, um, are one of the sort of the founding people of a lot of stuff in our community, including, <laughs> including the uh, a lot of stuff, yes. community circle players, um, <laughs> and, which is now the Riverwalk. Civic player. Um, and we both get the New York Times, and I've watched the guy deliver it. He goes up to her driveway and gets out of the car and delivers it right to her front step. On the way to her door, he breezes past my house and throws it out the window onto my sidewalk. <laughs> well, did you call about no, it? No, well, I don't know how to call him, uh, but I'm going to give him a. I'm going to give him a tip. No, not I him. The... I called the uh, company. Okay. And uh, I called him once. Nothing really happened. Called yeah. the second time time and said I was not well, really going to have the paper anymore. I'm going to send him a tip um, and then say, you know, really nicely, would you mind doing that for us as well? well? Because he, we're old and infirm. It, or she, it's a she. <laughs> oh, it's a she? Okay. Yes. She it's... left her a card and, uh, you know, Merry Christmas. And I thought, okay. am I going to send her a tip or not? And, mm -hmm. or am I going to be snarky? And I decided I'd, my best, I sent her the gave her the tip and I said, I really love it when the paper lands on the front porch. And ever since <laughs> then, it's really been on the front porch yeah. instead of on the step or down on the rocks or, yeah. you know, I have to retrieve it with my little picker upper. And as interesting as this is to all the other players and the people at home, <laughs> um, I think we probably should move on to the game. <laughs> Sorry. so let's do that um we are going to play a game of trivia tonight we have eight categories five questions in each category and um to get us started we need to pick um the category uh, the first category let me just show you that what the categories are tonight okay 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 okay, okay. not there there we go uh, going out into deep space here for a moment. There we go. Here they are, the categories. Oh. Two for one. Isn't that special? <laughs> Some of its parts. Don't get me started. Some tongue. Hmm. Specific overtures. <laughs> You're deriving me crazy. Global events. And the subject was noses. <laughs> now, to determine who is the first, who gets the first, first category, um, I am thinking of one of the five senses right now. We all know what the five senses are, right? Sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch, right? Um, and starting with Andy, I want you to guess which one I'm thinking of. And if you get it, you'll get to start. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking smell, but I nope. think I was primed. <laughs> nope, that's not right. Um, uh, Tony. Touch. Touch is not right. Um, 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 and, uh, Abby and Nathan. Taste. Taste is the right answer, and I can't even get it to show up here. There we go. Taste. You get to pick the first category, guys. Um, and also, I should tell you one more thing. One of you said there's eight categories. There's nine here. One of them is the final question category, and if you pick that one, um, you get a bonus. But it's actually not for you. It's called the um, don't uh, don't keep it a hundred bonus. 
Uh, if you get that, then you have to give 100 points, which I will give to you first. You don't have to take from your own bank. And you will distribute it amongst your fellow players. So you don't want to pick the final <laughs> category, but it's totally a guess. And which one would you like to start with? Some tongue. Some tongue. Some tongue. <laughs> uh, we're always okay. taught about that when we have to kiss on stage. Oops. Try to avoid... <laughs> Avoid some tongue. Okay, let me get it here. Okay, question number one. Are you ready with your buzzers? And remember to yell stop, but also click on your thumbs up button. And Sorry. Bridget, Bridget will help me by keeping You've track. You've got your thumbs up button already. What's All right, that? hold on, I, my fault. All right, we're good. <laughs> You're good? Okay, here we go. In the original French, this song is called La Misère, meaning poverty. The constraints of translation turned the English version of it into a song about unrequited love. La misère. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, um, and uh, well, Andy, Andy's thumb came up first. I think I thumbed first, but I forgot to say stop. It's um, on my own. From on my own is right. You have 25 points for that, Andy. <laughs> And I will give hints because I like people to get answers. Um, <laughs> a good hint. Question two. Um, a recent production of what Greek play was a huge hit in Russia, but probably not that popular with Putin or Trump. It deals with a man in power <laughs> who is strong enough to acknowledge his guilt and accept his punishment of exile and a life of poverty. What play? A recent production of what Greek play? Uh, Leonor was... There, yes? Oedipus. Oedipus, uh, yeah, Oedipus Rex, Oedipus the King, that's correct. 25 points for you. Yay, You're in one. the tie for first, <laughs> Lee. Third question. Uh, this question is from my personal experience, which some of you may know very little about, so there will be no penalty for a wrong answer. Oh. <laughs> There's a play with a short title, one word, three letters. Um, which I have only seen in Spanish um, on a trip to Buenos Aires, Argentina. And actually, in Spanish, the title has, the title has four letters. Three letters in English, four letters in um, Spanish. What is it? No penalty, so anybody can guess. Okay, um, Abby? I'll take a guess. Is it wit? Nope. <laughs> Good guess. Yeah. I did I, did I hear another thumb here? I didn't see another did. thumb. Okay, Lee. Art. Art is right. In Spanish, it's arte. Okay. And that's another 25 points for Lee. Okay, yeah, Three-letter title. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, four letters in Spanish. Another personal experience. Again, no penalties for a wrong answer. There was a musical that, until it was done locally at Riverwalk, I had only seen performed in French on a visit to Montreal, <laughs> Canada. What is this musical? Uh, with also has which also has one word four letter title, and um, although in French technically it should be called La Loue, L O U E R Loue. Oh, in French it should be called Loue. Oh, the French. Uh, who was oh, that? Uh, who was first Me, there? Yeah. Oh, was Lee first, Bridget? It was. It they came out almost at the same time. I wasn't able to tell. Okay, um, then, um, and we can't do rock, paper, uh, okay, um, on, on one, two, three, I want both of you to say rock, paper, or scissors, okay? You can't do it ver uh, visually because I can't see Lee. So, are you ready, Lee? Yeah. One, two, three. Scissors. Paper. Scissors cut paper, Lee got it. Rent. Rent is correct. Another 25 oh. points for Lee. <laughs> Fifth question. I I, French is the other language I can more or less figure out. <laughs> well, good for you. See, you're doing great. Um, what play by David Rabe ends with a drunken Sergeant Rooney singing a version of the Stephen Foster song, Beautiful Dreamer, in broken Vietnamese? Oh, my God. What, what play by David Rabe ends with a drunken Sergeant Rooney singing a version of Stephen Fo the Stephen Foster song, Beautiful Dreamer, in Brunk, drunk, <laughs> broken Vietnamese? Nobody knows that one? <laughs> the title is a take on Beautiful Dreamer. 
It's part of the Vietnam War trilogy that David rewrote. It's called uh, Streamers. Oh. Streamers. Nobody got that one, but the last correct question was Lee. So Lee, you're going to guess, you're going to pick the next category. And uh, well, no, first of all, first of all, first of all, excuse me. We have the puzzle to deal with. Oh, yes. Um, so let's look at the puzzle. Uh, that's the example. Let's, here's the one that you're going to be dealing with, Lee. And uh, you're not going to get any letters on this first crack at it, but here's the clue. Where have all the vendors gone? Where have all the vendors gone? I'll give you a moment to see if you can guess the, pu <laughs> the punny answer, the punny answer to that question. The sellers, they're gone to... Um, any idea? No. I thought not. <laughs> I thought oh. not. Okay, so we will go back to the categories and Lee, you get to pick the next one. Uh, we only have some tongue off the list now. Um, okay, um, the subject was noses. The subject was noses. <laughs> very good. This is a very specific category. <laughs> Um, and it is about, it's a category all about the play Cyrano de Bergerac. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> now you may, you may be, you may know more than you think you do. Um, here we go. Ready? The first question. The play about, the play is about an actual person named Cyrano de Bergerac, a 17th century French dramatist with a notoriously large nose. Who wrote the play? Uh, very good, Lee. Uh, let me call on you, but that is correct. You got 100 points now. You have wow. 25 for that one. <laughs> Lee is cleaning up. In the play, who is Cyrano in love with? And rest assured, she don't have to put on the uh, red light. Uh, Lee, and our, <laughs> Lee, uh, was, was right. Lee or Tony? I think it was Tony. Okay, Tony. Roxanne. Roxanne is correct. Roxanne, <laughs> you don't have to put on a red line. <laughs> Question three. It's said that when Cyrano de Bergerac premiered in France on December 27th of, of 97, the audience was still applauding a full hour after the curtain went down. I don't believe that. Um, <laughs> if this happened, in what century did it happen? Um. In what century did Cyrano de Bergerac premiere? 19th. Uh, Leonor, it may I call on you, but yes, you were in there, and 19th is correct. It was 1897. You have 125 points. Question four. What actor not known for his singing voice won a lead actor Tony Award for the musical Cyrano? He also starred in the film version of an extremely uh, popular... Oh, no, never mind. Uh, you, well, you, you stopped it. You stopped no, it. I yes, no, you I did. <laughs> you can't no, go I... back. You can't go back. So just take a guess. No, no, I shouldn't because you got the film version and I was going to say Steve Martin, but that's not right. No, that's not correct. Yeah. Um, he also starred in the film version of an extremely popular musical, which he hated being in and snidely referred to as that musical, s &M, or The Sound of Mucus. Who's the actor? Leonor, you clicked in. I keep oh. saying Leonor because that's what I see on my screen. Lee. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't think of his name. <laughs> he acted in Canada, but I'm sorry, I can't think of okay, his name. Okay, so you lose 10, you have 115, and we can't click it again, Takaki, sorry. Oh, I'm Nathan sorry. ruins everything. Anybody <laughs> else? Oh, gosh. Nathan ruins everything. He's blanking on his name. I know this. Okay, it's Christopher Plummer. Christopher Plummer. Thank you. Christopher <laughs> Plummer. And uh, I had a bonus question for whoever got that one right, but nobody did. So this is open to everybody. Just click in if you if you know the answer. Um, in 2019, um, another musical adaptation of Cyrano de Bergerac premiered in New York, not on Broadway. Um, what diminutive film and TV star played the title role? What? Uh, did, did, yes, Tony. Um, um, oh, Lord, help me. Uh, uh, Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage, Lord helped you. Right. And you got 50 now. <laughs> 25 points for that one. Last question in this category. What seven-letter word that starts with a P is believed to have entered the English language because of this play? Oh. Cyrano de Bergerac. 
Um, it uh, is defined as a flamboyant confidence of style or manner and as a plume of feathers, especially as a headdress on a helmet or on a helmet. Seven letter word starts with a P. My, my, my. Uh, Emily. Peacock? Peacock is a nice guess, but it's not right. You can't go backward, you're still at zero. Oh, because it does have seven letters and it does start with the P, but it's not panache, which is the correct answer. Oh. All right, our last correct questioner was Tony on Peter Dinklage, or not questioner, oh, that's Jeopardy. Our last correct answer <laughs> was Tony. And so Tony, you get a crack at the puzzle. Ooh. All right, and this time, Tony, you get to call a letter and I will show you as many times as that letter shows up. Um, F. F as in? F as in Frank. F as in Frank. Okay. Whoops. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why that happened. Um, oh, I know why that happened. Because I wasn't in this mode. I need to be in this mode to do this. Okay. <sighs> no capital letters. Okay. There's an F. That's all I've got for you. Do you have a guess? Where have all um, the vendors gone? No. Okay. Um, we're going to go to the categories now. You get to pick the next category. There it is. Um, you've got everything but some tongue and uh, the subject was noses. Um, two for one. Two for one. Biddly dee dee dee. Two ladies, biddly dee dee dee. Okay, two for one. Uh, two for one. Question one. Homosexuality may not be genetic, but perhaps playwriting is. What is the most <laughs> successful play by the straight man whose gay twin brother gave us Equus? What is the most successful play by the straight man whose gay twin brother gave us Equus? Contains a uh, case of mistaken identity, which is very hard to pull off in the Riverwalk Theater. Um, that is Sleuth by Peter Schaffer. Or is it Anthony, Anthony Schaffer? I get them mixed up. It's one of the Schaffers. It's the one who's straight. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Oh, th by the way, this is all about twins. I should have told you that. Um, two for one. It's all about twins. Um, what play by Albert Inarato has nothing to do with twins, despite what its title might have you believe? What play has nothing to do with twins, despite what its title might have you believe? No? no. Might be one of your signs. Oh. Andy. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess Gemini. Gemini is correct, yes. Hey. Got the hint, and you get you have 50 <laughs> now. Question three. Gypsy is not the only musical portraying life on the Orpheum circuit. What musical featuring the songs I Will Never Leave You and Come Look at the Freaks Emily. tells the, uh, Emily. Sideshow. Sideshow is correct. <laughs> tells the story <laughs> of conjoined twins, Violet and Daisy Hilton. Emily, you're on the board with 25 points. What? Question four. <laughs> Listen carefully to this one. Anne Hathaway has never appeared on Broadway, although the actress has played Im important Broadway characters on film, including Fantine in Les Miserables and Cinderella from End of the Woods. In real life, Anne Hathaway gave birth to twins. Who was the father? <laughs> Doesn't she know? Leonor? Lee? Are you? Oh, no, you're not. Anybody, anybody want to guess? It's a tricky clue. This one. It's a tricky clue. A lot of misdirect going on in there. 
In real life, Anne Hathaway gave birth to twins. Who was the father? The father was William Shakespeare. Oh, oh, about right. a, a different Anne Hathaway. I was just leading you down a path there. <laughs> Okay, buzz it on the bonus wow. then, since nobody got the not the question. Um, the bonus. Don't lose twenty five um, points for that one. Yeah. What? I why should I lose twenty five points? <laughs> that was awful. What? That was awful. awful. Why? Awful. Why? It was a good clue. It was fun. I'm going to take your points away if you do that. We don't have any. Nothing for nothing is nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, maybe I'll change the rules and put you down below zero. Um, That's fine. <laughs> um, okay, uh, buzz in Your on this. Sweaters one. won't save you now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're compensating for the sweaters here. Um, the, the the bonus question, and 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 click in if you want to guess on this. What was either twin's name? Oh God. Ann and Bill's twins. Either oh. twin's name. Anybody know? Yeah. Stop. Tony. Uh, uh, Tony. I'm just going to totally guess William. Uh, no, that's not correct. But it's a bonus, so I'm not taking any points away. Um, anybody well, we else? Guess for free. You can guess Wait, for free. Wait, can said Doke. Sorry. Who was? What was what's name? Uh, the either of the twins' names of uh, Anne Hathaway and William Shakespeare. Oh, I think I know one. Hamnet. Okay. Hamnet is correct. Oh, it was almost well. <laughs> Lee, I was going to say Hamlet, but I would have gotten it wrong. You would have gotten it wrong. Yes, she saved you from that. Okay, last question in this category, two for one, about twins. The yet to premiere musical Identical, that's the name of the musical, Identical, by the team that brought you Mary Poppins, is based on a 1949 novel called Lottie oh. and Lisa. What twice made movie is also derived oh, okay. from this um. book? I know this one. I'm sure I do, but um, what twice uh, made movie? Um, oh, you clicked in. Okay, I did. I'm saying and stop. Um, ugh, except now the title of the movie just completely left my brain. It's Parent Trap. Parent Trap is correct. Twenty five yes. points for Andy. You have seventy five, <laughs> and you get the next crack at the puzzle. Excellent. Okay, here comes the puzzle. Would you like to call a letter? Um. Sure, I will say E. e <laughs> Usually a safe guess. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not going to charge you anything for it. <laughs> Excellent. There you go. Oh, boy. Four of them. <laughs> I think I know two of the words. <laughs> <laughs> Where have all the vendors gone? Do you have a guess? Not yet. <laughs> okay. Well, you get to pick the next clue. Okay. Or the next category, excuse me. Um, and we have uh, six to pick from. <clears throat> Can't do two for one, or the subject was noses or some tongues. So that dialog diagonal down there is eliminated. What else do you want to go for? I think. I'd like, don't get me started. Don't get me started. You have chosen, Andy, the oh, sung, no. the sung category. Every, oh, okay. <laughs> every category, every game, I'm going to do one uh, oh, excellent. category where I sing and you can't do anything about it if you want to earn <laughs> points. <laughs> All right. I'm going to sing the introductory verses to show tunes. So here we go. This now, the, uh, this was common, and this was common on Broadway <laughs> in the past, and not so much anymore. But they have a verse that comes before the main song, so um, I'm going to sing some of those. An example would be, um, "Bed, bed, I couldn't go to bed. My head's too light to try to set it down. Yeah, sleep, um, sleep, I couldn't need to sleep tonight. Not for all the yeah. jewels in the crown, which is." Uh, which I is could have you. danced all night. You could have danced all night, right? <laughs> yeah, that was just an example. No points for that one. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, stop me with your one. thing, but I may sing the whole thing just because I want to, even though you buzz in. <laughs> I will. Bridget, keep track of who gets it first, okay? Okay. okay. <clears throat> the flowers, the linen, the crystal I see. <laughs> 
were carefully chosen for people like me. The silver agleam and the candles aglow, your favorite songs on request. I'll stop there. Yeah. The first two. Andy, do you have it? Just, I will in a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to go through the rest of the intro first. <laughs> I'll give you 10 seconds. Um, Dear friend from Dear friend. She Loves Me. Dear friend, yeah, you don't have to guess the musical. Dear friend is correct. Well, but I like No the wonder I feel so depressed. <laughs> I actually I sang that number. song in voice lessons. Well, good back for in college. you. Good for you. I'm not going to give you any points for that. Um, <laughs> Here's the second one. Oh, harsh. <laughs> now you there point. you are. Yes, there's that face. That face that somehow I trust. It may embarrass you to hear me say it, but say it I must. Say it I must. Oh, goodness. Well, say it. <laughs> Anybody? Oh, come on. It's I thought this one was pretty popular in the American Songbook. It sounds so familiar, but I'm not placing it. <laughs> that is from How Does This Get in Business Without Really Trying? And the song is I Believe in You. Ah. I believe in you. I believe in you. Unless you've, this is a bonus question, so it's going to be open to anybody who can buzz in. You keep missing all the bonus question <laughs> questions. Unless you've seen How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, you might not know that that song is sung by J. Pierpont Finch to himself, looking in a mirror. <laughs> What two spirits does he tell himself he has the slam bang tang of? Spirit. Two spirits. You've got that slam bang tang reminiscent of gin and vermouth. Okay, moving on. Question three. <laughs> I thought you meant ghosts, for God's sake. <laughs> Well, I can't tell you Marley everything. and Marley. What? I can't tell you everything, Nathan. Um, <laughs> as a teacher, I've been learning. You'll forgive me if I boast. And I've now become an expert on the subject oh, I gosh. like oh, most. Gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Um, oh, just so cold. As a teacher, I've been learning. I didn't pick the right key. You'll forgive me if I bow. Oh, goodness. And I've now become an expert on the thing, the subject I like most. Emily? Emily. Yeah. Oh, Emily. This might be a stupid guess. Is it getting to know you? It is getting yes. to know you. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> First time I heard that was on a Ooh. Miss America pageant. Um, <laughs> Emily. Totally blanking you, on the title. <laughs> Very good, Emily. You have uh, 50 points now. Okay, all you smug little men with these smug little schemes, you forgot one thing. The rest of the world isn't all like you. There are heroes in the world, princes. Oh, uh, Andy, you've already buzzed in. <laughs> it's, um, it's, there won't be trumpets. Yes, heroes in the world, and princes and heroes. And one of us will save us, wait and see, wait and see. <laughs> there won't be trumpets of boats of fire. What song is that from? What show? Yeah. That's anyone can listen. Anyone can listen. It is. Don't get any points for that, but you get 25 <laughs> for getting it. You have 125, <laughs> Andy, and this is the last one. I need to take them. I knew this would be my category. <laughs> this is my big test to see if I get the melody right on this. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes your eyes look blue to me, although I know they're really green, I seem to see you differently, changing as I'm treated kindly or treated meanly. From moment to moment, you're two different people. Faithful and warm when I'm in your arms, 
And when you leave your soul untrue, but nobody knows it. You know I don't know, but I love hearing you sing it. Oh, that's very <laughs> I'm gonna know it as soon as as soon as you say I'm gonna kick myself. <laughs> I sang it so much better in rehearsal. Um, <laughs> before I had dinner. Um, <laughs> It's uh, by Burt Backrack, and it's from Promises, Promises, and it's whoever you are, I love you. All right, so the last correct question was Andy. You get a chance to go for the puzzle once again. Andy, are we having fun? Yes. Yes? Okay. <laughs> that was my category. That was your category? Fell downhill from here. <laughs> okay, Andy, you can uh, call another letter if you'd like. Sure. Um, let's go for a T this time. A T. That's it. Okay. Where have all the vendors gone? 10 seconds. Yeah, afraid not. <laughs> we have to get the right question to be able to take a guess, right? Yep, you have to be the last, oh. last correct <laughs> answer in the category in order to guess. And Andy, you don't have it? I don't have it, not yet. <laughs> okay, um, then what category would you like to go with next? Hmm. Yeah, is, go ahead. How about global events? Global events is the final um, category. Oh. So you oh. have won the uh, don't keep it 100 bonus. <laughs> you have to distribute those 100 points amongst your opponents in this game. I'll give you their scores in case that weighs on you. You can split okay. it any way you want. You can give them all to one person or... Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, the Takaki sadly have no points. Um, but they do have nice sweaters. And Emily has 50, True. Tony has 50, and Lee has 140. You have 125, Andy. Okay. Where do you want to give those mm -hmm. ones? Let's do 25 each to uh, Emily and Tony and the rest of the Takakis. Woohoo! Okay, so 50 <laughs> to the Takakis, that gives you 50. Emily, you now have 75, and Tony, you now have 75. And Andy, you get to pick a different category. Because you, okay. you, you can't have We'll that. try specific overtures. Specific overtures. <laughs> I kind of loved coming up with that category. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then finding enough questions for it. Um, <laughs> okay, so these are about overtures, obviously. And uh, we have a broad definition of theater in this uh, category. Uh, probably one of the best ever written, in my opinion, what Broadway show's overture begins with a trumpet fanfare, which later in the show will accompany the lyrics, I had a dream. Uh, uh, oh. Takakis. I yeah. saw them first. Is that right, Bridget? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jesus Christ Superstar? Yeah. No, not Jesus Christ Superstar. You want in, Emily? Gypsy. Gypsy is correct. <sighs> I had a dream. Ba, yeah. ba, 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 Almost ba, there. Sorry. <laughs> 100 for Emily and the Takakis have 40 now. Uh, specific overtures. Question two. Mozart's most popular overture is from what comic opera based on a play by Pierre Beauchemarche called The Mad Day? It's the story of how two servants manage to wed, foiling the efforts of their philandering employer. Lee. What opera? I, Leonor, Lee. The Marriage of Figaro. The Marriage of Figaro is correct. Mm, of and Lee pads her lead. She has 165. You are 40 ahead of Andy. <laughs> Question Whoa. three. There's more of me in that piece than anything else I've done the composer say, himself said, referring to what favorite of concert orchestras, the overture to this work, which is composed primarily of the songs, Oh Happy We and Glitter and Be Gay. Oh, wait, we need the composer or the work? The, uh, the, the, the work. The work, Candide. Candide mm -hmm. is correct, yes. Andy, you have 150. <laughs> I better understand that question. That was kind of poorly worded. I I got a little okay. glitch in there somewhere. Um, question four, and there's a lucrative bonus with this one, if you get it. 
Um, what song from 1776 is the only song referenced in its brief percussive piccolo ornamented overture? What song from 1776 is the only song referenced in its brief percussive piccolo oh, ornamented overture? <laughs> and again, nobody right. knows. Oh, Ever to the right. Sorry? Ever, Ever to the right. No, good guess, Lee, but that's not correct. So you have 155 now. Oh, dear. Okay. Anybody? It goes like this, and I'm, I'm, this is too much. Well, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll take it if somebody <laughs> if gets you it. Come um, it. I'll know it. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> that's, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. That is um uh, 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 uh his name um <laughs> Lee Hen Richard Henry Lee Virginia is my home. <laughs> I don't know if that's the title. I'll that's give not you the five title. seconds. Five <laughs> seconds to come. Oh up the gosh, title. it's it's um. The Lees of Old Virginia. Yes. <laughs> I knew that one. I just was you out. You just, you out. You just took the lead. Crazy. You took the lead with 175. The Lees of Old Virginia. Awesome. <laughs> All right. This bonus is going to be of the round robin type. So um, uh, you you can guess uh, you can guess as many as you can get, Andy. And if you don't get any of them, it'll go on to um, Abby, Nathan, then Emily, then Lee, then Tony. Okay. That's the order of oh. your. In the, okay screen there. Six men from the Lee family are mentioned in the lyrics to this song. I'll give you 25 points for each one you can name. <laughs> as soon as you get oh, one fun. wrong, you're done. Okay, so let's see. Arthur Lee? Arthur Lee's correct. Um, General Light Horse Harry Lee? <laughs> yes, that's correct. <laughs> um, really, well, there's Richard Lee. Richard <laughs> Lee, you yes, you have three. <laughs> oh gosh, I should know all of these lyrics better. Oh, there are actually <laughs> there are actually seven. I said six or seven of them. Oh gosh, I'm not remembering any of the others. So okay. go ahead and pass. <laughs> okay, you get seventy five points for that. Um, awesome. That takes you to two fifty, and we go to Abby and Nathan. Can you name any of the others? She got Arthur, Light Horse, Light Horse Harry, and Richard. Since neither of us have actually seen the show, Robert. Uh, there's a Bobby, Robert. so I'm going to give you that. Bobby is correct. Bobby, yes. Hey, we, we never go wrong with Bobby, guessing Bobby. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, baby, Bobby, 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 Robbie. You want to guess another yeah. one? What do you want? Edward. No, no, Edward. You have 65. Uh, Emily, can you guess any of the three that are left? <laughs> I feel like I should, but mm. I, I. I don't know a single one, so uh, I would lose points if I guessed wrong, right? No, you don't lose points on a bonus. I should have told you that. Uh, then then uh, Tim. <laughs> Tim is not right. Uh, uh, Lee, you're next. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I, no, I have no idea. Uh, Tony, do you have any? Uh, uh, Samuel. No, it was Harry, Willie, and Jesse are the other ones. Willie and Jesse. Harry, Willie, and Jesse. So the scores now are 250 for Andy, 155 for Lee, 100 for Emily, 75 for Tony, and 65 for the Takakis. Last question in this category. The Overture from Oklahoma is simply a sequential rendition of five songs from the show, ending with the title song, Oklahoma. Name any two of the five songs that precede it in the Overture. Any two. You lose 10 points if you miss it. You get 25 if you guess right. Uh, Emily, Emily, take a shot at um, it. Oh, what a beautiful morning and can't say no. Neither one of those is correct. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in it. That's so surprising. I'm, I'm only taking 10 sure. points. Sorry. Anybody else want to guess? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. That's kind of surprising, actually, when I listened to it today, I was surprised to see what was in the overture. And it's a very simple overture. They just do the song one after another and no <laughs> kind of no playing around. Okay, the answers are The Farmer and the Cowman, followed by Poor Judd is Dead, Many a Do Day, 
out of my dreams and into your heart and people will say we're in love out of my dreams <laughs> <laughs> and into your heart okay so um i can't really do the bonus as the last correct answer because it was a sequential thing like that so i'm going to go back to candide who got that one right was that andy that was, yeah andy so it's going to be yours okay yes uh, the puzzle again <laughs> Maybe I'll get it this time. <laughs> Maybe you will. Um, what letter would you like? Um, let's try an A. Okay. I feel like I need to go for vowels here. That's it. Oh, gosh. 10 seconds. I see the Taikaki's whispering. Yeah, I think everybody knows it but me. Um, okay. Guess. Right not. <laughs> All right. You're still picking the categories. Okay. Remind me what's left, Ben. What's up? Wait, remind me which ones are left. Uh, there they are. Um, uh, let's see. We have left. Uh, isn't that special? Some of its parts. You're driving me. You're deriving me crazy, and that's it. Let's try some of its parts. Get me started. Some of don't get me started. We did that was, one. Yeah, that was the singing. That, that was the song one. You may have turned your um, sound off for that, possibly. <laughs> some of its parts. These are um, plays with named or titled parts of them. Hmm. Okay, so it's, uh, they have little subtitles. Sub not subtitles, but titles within. Um, the play, and there you all are. Okay, here we go. Question one. The first part of Angels in America is called Millennium Approaches. What is the one word title of the second part? Uh, uh, Takaki's. Perestroika? Perestroika, which is Russian for restructuring. You have 90. They're on their eyes. Question two. <laughs> Question two, what is the name of the so-called three-part mini opera that occurs early in the first act of falsettos? Oh, shit. Three-part mini opera, the first three, <laughs> first three words are Marvin at the. Oh, it's, Marvin at the, a three-part mini oh, opera. Oh, I'm going to take a guess. I've okay. heard this before, but is it Marvin at the Bat? At the Bat? Yeah, for some like, reason. Like, like a, the like bird in that baseball. COVID. Oh, oh, I see what you're doing. Yes. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. No, that's not right. You have 240, Andy. <laughs> Anybody else? Marvin at the? I swear I've heard this before. <laughs> three-part mini opera. It's Marvin at the Psychiatrist. Ah. Question three, what epic Tom Stoppard work consisted of three full-length plays titled Voyage, Shipwreck, and Salvage? What epic Tom Stoppard work consisted of three full-length plays titled Voyage, Shipwreck, and Salvage? Nobody? Okay, it's the coast of Utopia. The coast of Utopia. It was a big deal a few years back. Uh, very lavish productions. That had a bonus attached to it. So I'm going <laughs> to let open this up. It's kind. Of, it's a number answer. And we're going to let each of you have one guess at it. Um, and whoever guesses it with your one guess first uh, gets the 25 points. The coast of Utopia covers 33 years of Russian history. <laughs> Give me one of those years. Anybody? Just say it. Uh, 1901. No. <laughs> okay. 1850. 1850? Yes. 1833 to 1866. You got yeah. it right, right in the middle there, Tony. So that's 25 points for you. 100 you have now. Um, question four. The third act of this play... Oh, excuse me, the third act of this 1938 play might have been called The Talking Dead, but it's not. Oh, where'd y'all go? I missed, I, I don't see you anymore. Oh, I oh, see you. There you are. There you are. Um, I, so I, the paper, 
<laughs> go off there. Um, the third act of this 1938 play might have been called The Talking Dead, but it's not. It's called Death and Eternity and follows the earlier acts, Daily Life and Love and Marriage. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Takaki. Uh, our town? Our town, great. Our town, one of my favorite yeah. plays. Nice. Uh, yes, Takaki. Wiped in well, just before me. <laughs> 115 you have now. And the final question in this category, what plays three acts in order are titled Fun and Games, Walpurgisnacht, and The Exorcism? The title of the play itself is a playful take on a Disney cartoon. Lee. I know. Uh, okay. Lee? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf is correct. <laughs> you have 180. You trail Andy by 60, and you have a crack at the puzzle. And I know you love my puzzles, Lee. I do. You do. I do. I know. And where is it? There it is. Uh, would you like to guess a letter? R. R. <clears throat> That's the only one you get. Oops. Somebody okay, where have all the vendors gone? Where have all the vendors gone? <laughs> I have no idea. No, have it? Oh. Okay. You get to uh, choose the remaining category. I'm just going to tell you they are, isn't that special? And um, you, you're deriving me crazy. Was it, do you drive me crazy? Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have a different type of how I learned to derive on this one. I, I changed, <laughs> changed the pun. Um, so which one would you like, Lee? Deriving me crazy. Okay. Um, this is the round robin category. Um, oh. So in this one, um, uh, Bridget, yes, thank you for asking. Um, because you are a contestant in the tournament, uh, you need to leave now. This is exactly the right point, so you don't know what the final scores are. I forgot to do this last night. Um, <laughs> so Bridget, um, come on the screen for a second. Okay. Bye, Bridget. Thank you for joining um, us. Did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time. Okay. <laughs> good. You all ready for your game? It's on Sunday, oh. right? Yes, yeah, Sunday. All right. All right. No, Take not care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, here we are. Now we can talk about Bridget. Uh, okay. Um, so, how I learned to derive. No, um, you're deriving me crazy. Provide the play or musical derived from the source material that I give you. I'm going to give you the source material, and you have to tell me what musical was derived from it. It could be a movie, a book, a short story, another play, etc. And we will begin with uh, Lee, and we'll go in the sequence up there. Lee, you give, uh, you give the answer if you have it. If not, we move on to Tony, and he gives it he has it. Um, if you get it right, we move on to Tony anyway and give him a different one. Um, and you get 10 points for the first one that you get right. There are uh, 12 of them total here. If you manage to get two right in the course of the round, you get 25 points for that second one. And if you get a third one, you get 100 points for that third one and any ones thereafter. So you can get a lot of points in this round. Lee, the first one is Pygmalion. What musical? My Fair Lady. That is correct. You have 10 points for that. Um, uh, let's see. It's Tony. Uh, Smiles of a Summer Night. I knew Pygmalion. Um, <laughs> Smiles of a Summer Night. <laughs> company. No, it's not company. We go to Andy. Is that one a little night music? That's a little night music, yep. It's a, a Bergman, a Bergman film. Excellent. Uh, 10 points for Andy. We're moving on to the Taikakis now. Um, Huckleberry Finn. Big river. Nope. Oh, what? Big River? Big River, yeah. Uh, 10 points for that. Go to Emily next. Really good uh, that. Emily, the Once and Future King. I don't know. I knew the others. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> really, really, so cute there. Uh, I, I should give you. This? 
I want to give you points just because you're cute. Um, uh, Lee, you have it now, yes. Camelot. Camelot is right. You got 25 for that one. Yeah. Um, the next one goes to Tony, The Apartment. The, I want the ones I know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Apartment. The Apartment. Musical uh, Rent. No, uh, that's a good <laughs> yes. guess. It's a very good guess. Definitely. <laughs> and there's no, there's no losing points on this, by the way, in case you didn't know. Oh, good. Um, Andy, do you know what the apartment? It, I'm not sure. I, she loves me. Nope. Uh, okay. We go to the Takakis. Right. Do you know it? I totally know this. But... Uh. Carousel. No, um, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you had the american songbook down didn't you i guess yeah <laughs> lee you're the last one the apartment i have no idea that's the the apartment the movie the apartment is the basis for promises promises oh. okay moving on to tony again fosca fosca f-o-s-k-c-a excuse me f-o-s-c-a fosca Chess. Nope. Uh, Andy? I know this one. It's Passions. Passion is correct. You have 25 points for that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Takaki's. My love, my love, or the peasant girl? <laughs> my love, my love, or the peasant girl? Yes? Do I do? Nope. Uh, Emily? Nope. So sorry, no. Lee? No. Tony? She loves me. No. Um, Andy? This is right on the tip of my brain, but I don't remember. Really? Okay, I didn't think anybody would know that. <gasps> it's once on this island, actually. Yes! Oh. Back to the Takakis. Uh, green grow the lilacs. <laughs> I think maybe Emily might know this one. Uh, you Green Girl, Emily, the, you can have it. Green Girl, the lilacs. Any guess? I defer to Emily. No guess, Abby. The Music Man. No, uh, Emily. Now I'm going to be really embarrassed if it's wrong, but yeah, I think that's are. Oklahoma. It is Oklahoma. Yes, <laughs> yes. you have ten, ten <laughs> points nice. for that one. Moving on to um, Lee for a hundred points on this one. It's your third one. Um, eight and a half. Nine. Nine is correct. You have a hundred points for that oh, one. Oh, very nice. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Tony, War and Peace. Pretty great. I hate this category, Doug. It's, um, huh? <laughs> um, what is it? War and Peace. Um, War and Peace is the source of material things. for a musical. What's that? It's Les Mis. No, I'm not Les Mis. Andy? It's, um, oh gosh, something Pierre and the War of 1812. It's, um, it just came out a few years ago and I can't remember the first name. I, I need you um, to give me your guess. Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's, yeah, something Pierre and the War of 1812, okay, but that's, I, that's, I know it's not right. Okay, moving <laughs> on to the Taikakis. Did she give you enough information? No, can I take you the hint, I hope. I, I could <laughs> oh. Now I know. Came out, yes. Yeah. Uh, we're uh, going on to Emily, I think. Natasha Pierre and the Thank Great Comet of 1812. Very Thank good. Yes. Emily, Ooh. that's 25 for good you. Job. Moving <laughs> I was on blanking. To, I was so close. <laughs> moving on to Lee for another uh, another 100 points, if you get it. Um, the Knights of Kiberia. Oh. <laughs> I should know that. It's true. The Knights of Kiberia. Um. <laughs> Nuts. Nuts? I can't. I can't. <laughs> no. Tony? The Knights of Kiberia? Camilla. Nope. Eddie? <laughs> um, I can't even think of a guess. <laughs> okay. Um, Takakis? Yes? 
<laughs> Annie, no. Um, uh, <laughs> Emily? <laughs> I want that to be right. <laughs> I have no idea, and there uh, will never be a better guest than Annie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, it's, uh, that's a Fellini film, and it's the basis for Sweet Charity, actually. Oh! Yep. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, uh, um, eight and a half is a film also. This is the last one, Lee, and it's for 100 points for you. The app, uh, eh! I just gave it away. I'm sorry. I can't read it. It was going to be The Diary of Adam and Eve. Did you know it, Lee? Um, the uh, apple tree? Yeah, I started to give it, so I can't really give you the points for that. I'm sorry. Okay. She doesn't need them anyway. No. She doesn't really need them, <laughs> yeah. does she? So let me add up the score here now. Not at this point. <laughs> Lee has 305, Andy Minus. has 275. Um, the Taikakis have 120, 125, and oh, yeah. Emily has 125, and Tony has 100. One question left, one category. Oh, we, we have to, um, let's see, the, who was the last correct one on that? The last correct one was... Natasha Pierre in the Comet of 1812. So that's Emily. You yes. get to guess at the puzzle. We have uh, only two more chances to get it. Come on, what letter, Emily. What letter would you like? I'm sorry, guys. I know I, it sounds like you guys all know what it is. I don't. Um, so yes. let's <laughs> guess an H. H. I know that'll be there. there. There is an H, uh, a couple of H's. last word <laughs> where have all the vendors gone no i'm sorry i mean i yeah i have no idea okay sorry okay there's one more chance to get it and that's with the category isn't that special <laughs> This is the last category, last chance to gain points. These are about shows that are more like stand-up specials than plays that were done on Broadway, okay? All right, what author, film actor, and famous daughter performed her stage memoir, Wishful Drinking, in 2009? Wishful Drinking. Oh, Tony, sorry. Uh, say stop, say stop so that I know stop. you're there. Yeah. Is that Carrie Fisher? That is Carrie Fisher. You have 25. Shoot. You have 125. You're faster you're, than me. <laughs> you're now in a three-way tie for third. Um, question two. Freak, mambo mouth, sexaholic, ghetto clown, and Latin history for morons. Who wrote and performed all of these shows? Stop. Yes, who was that? Uh, yeah, Nathan. John Leguizamo? John Leguizamo is correct. You have Holy one. Holy shit, I got one. 50. <laughs> 150, I... and there's a bonus question attached to that one. Nice. Uh, in what film did Leguizamo <laughs> play the drag star Chichi Rodriguez? Rodriguez. Yeah. Rodriguez. No, no, no. We, it's, a, it's a bonus. It's a, oh, it's I got only to the Takakis. Is Sorry. that the. Uh, uh... Oh, God, it was the two Wong Fu, thanks for everything, Julie Newmar, or the other one. Very good. Oh, I'm sorry. I took that as <laughs> oh, your that was answer. fine. We're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> you had that, Tony? Yeah, but that was well done, Nathan. <laughs> yeah, very, very good, yeah. Uh, it's kind of a hard title. Uh, third question. In At Liberty, her candid account of her career on stage, who says about booze, I'll control the drinking, two drinks a day, two drinks a day, two drinks a day. It doesn't work. Not when you want 11. <laughs> Who is that? At Liberty. Makes me sad that nobody All knows right, this. Guess. Who's guessing? Uh, Abby? Yeah. Elaine Stritch? Elaine Stritch, yes. <laughs> I should have guessed. <laughs> you have 200 and two more you questions. Go, girl. Um, an actual photograph of a penis was projected in Your Welcome America, a 2009 show in which Will Ferrell reprised this character from Saturday Night Live. An actual photograph of a penis. Yes, Abby? Um, George Bush, George W. Bush. Yeah, George W. Bush is right. Oh, gosh. For 225. You <laughs> have up moved quick. up there, yeah. <laughs> 
And uh, remember, there's the puzzle waiting for you. This is the last, this is the last, ca the last question. A review of what athletes Broadway show, The Undisputed Truth, said, in person, it's mostly his lisping wit, the unpredictable turns of his Woody Allen meets Genghis Khan shtick that continue to surprise. <laughs> A review of what athletes Broadway show, The Undisputed Truth, said, in person, it's mostly his lisping wit, the unpredictable turns of his Woody Allen meets Genghis Khan shtick that continue to surprise. Nobody? You know what? I'm going to gamble. Okay. Was it Mike Tyson? It is Mike Tyson. You are uh, correct. I should have gambled. I guess. Yeah, good from the <laughs> list. Almost were like, the list. All the clues are there. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, I mean, that great opening number for the Tonys that year that Neil Patrick Harris did? I had no idea. You okay, just said there was a, there, uh, Mike Tyson, was Mike Tyson appears in that. He tries, tries to bite his ear. Uh, <laughs> I was just having a hard time picturing that applying other than the lisp to Mike Tyson. <laughs> All right. Like well, Woody this Allen. is the last chance at the puzzle, and it goes to the Taikakis. Oh, and good job. Would you like to call a letter? They know it. <laughs> Uh, N. Shit. That's it. <laughs> uh, hearth of the Salesman? No. That is not correct. Oh, shit. No! Yes. <laughs> that is not correct. Oh, and no. I, think, I think everybody knows what it is now. Just shout it out. Dearth of, of the, dearth sales, of the salesman. Dearth of the salesman. <clears throat> yes, yeah. dearth of the salesman upon oh. death of the salesman. Of course. Oh, that was too bad. You could have got 200 points out of that. Oh. All right, honey. Uh, I'm just going to go get some more wine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody Okay. Here we are. We're ready for the final question. You're going to have to use the chat for this. Do all you know how, knows how to use this chat? Mm -hmm. do you, do what? You all knows how to use the okay, chat. chat. Okay, what I'm going to give you your scores. Remember that the winner goes on to the semifinals and the highest scoring non-winners, for five of them, uh, go on. So you may want to protect your score or you may want to go for it. It's up to you. The scores are um, Lee is in the lead with 305. Might want to write that down. Um, Andy has 275. The Takakis have 250. And Emily and Tony each have 125. And the category is uh, quote, working. quote, global events. On, or quote, global, unquote, events. The global is in quotes. And so if you could, in your chat, please write the amount that you want to wager and send it to me. Just send it to me. Don't oh send it goodness. to everybody. Just to me. Oops. I've Shoot. got Andy's. Oh, Once you lock it in. I did it wrong, though. <laughs> I sent it to everyone, so just... Oh, you all know what Andy said. Okay. <laughs> uh, Emily, I have yours. Choking under the pressure. <laughs> and Tony, I have yours. Still waiting for the Takakis and for Lee. Well, I, I have I the Takakis now. Yeah. Sorry? Where, oh, come on, Make no. sure you send it just to me, Lee. I have to joke gloss. Oh, type message. Typing it <laughs> in the wrong place. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay we're going to make you a Zoom wizard before we're done. Oh. <laughs> uh, how do you send it? Um, just, just hit uh, enter. Hit enter, yeah. Oh, enter. <laughs> there it is. Thank you. <laughs> all right. You've all made your wagers. Here's the question. And write your question down in the chat as well. And please, please send it only to me. <laughs> yes, <I am>. <laughs> <laughs> Fix that. <laughs> all right. Listen up. Uh, the global is... Interesting clue, i just to let you know. I to the world am like a drop of water that in the ocean seeks another drop from comedy of errors. And there's no harm done 
from the tempest both refer to what event? There's also one in Twelfth Night. I to the world am like a drop of water that in the ocean seeks another drop from Comedy of Errors and there's no harm done from the tempest. Both refer to what event? There's one in Twelfth Night as well. You have about 45 seconds to give me your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for two of you. Yikes. <laughs> Waiting for one of you. No way. Who am I waiting for? Um, oh, I'm not waiting for anybody. You're all in there. <laughs> okay, so we start with the, uh, the lowest score, um, which would be, uh, let's see, Emily, oh, you have 175. You got 50 more. No, no, that's your wager. I'm sorry. Um, Emily, <laughs> uh, what did you say? I just guessed. I said war. You said global. Was yeah. A hint, yeah. So. Yeah, war, yeah, but global was in quotes, and, and I'm afraid war is not correct. And you bet 50. I did. Which shakes you down to 75. Tony, you had 125, and you said? I said mistaken identity, having no idea. Nice guess. Um, you bet all of it, right? And that's incorrect. Yeah, why not? And you have zero, Tony. That might hold up. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's see, going next to the Takakis, you had 250. What did you say? Said a flood. A flood. That's a nice guess. Also not correct. You bet 200 of your 250, which takes you to 50. <sighs> Andy, you had 275. What did you say? I said dying last words. Yeah, that's not correct either. Didn't and think you so. lose 150, which brings you yeah. down to 125. Eek. Lee, we're to you. You're on top with 305. Right. What did you say? Proposal. A proposal is not correct. And you lose 100 points, leaving you 205. But the victory, you are in the semifinals, Lee. Yay. And who knows? Who knows, Andy? Um, you might get in with 125. You Possible. never can tell. Um, and who knows what else could happen. And yeah, well, the that was, uh, the answer is a shipwreck. Oh, oh. of course. Yeah, that makes sense. Sense. <laughs> and global, global merely referred to the Globe Theater. It was not um, oh, a okay. world thing. That is, again, a terrible thing to do to people. Uh, I know. It is a kind of masochism, or sadism, isn't it? Um, but it's better that I get it out here than some other unhealthy. <laughs> okay, okay, we've uh, gone on too long. I'm going to stop the recording. Congratulations, Lee. Congratulations. And I'll see you with episode four tomorrow night. Thank you.